now Agriland has travelled right to the top of the National Ploughing Championship site here in Rathaniska. We have arrived this morning at the Irish Country Women's Association tent and I'm delighted to be joined by ICA President Hilda Roach. Hilda, it's great to be back ploughing. Uh, there's a bit of a soft day out there today, but the spirits in the tent are great. We've got a beautiful selection of crafts and uh, baked goods and jams and preserves here as well. Lovely to be back at the ploughing. It's absolutely wonderful to be back at the ploughing. And I'm delighted to have you here in our ICA tent. And you can see a wonderful array of, of crafts and arts. And I just want to say well done to all the people, all the members, ICA members, and CAS, the Federation President in Leash, County Leash, and all the people who have helped to make this happen, because things like that, this don't happen just overnight, and of a lot of work and preparation goes into it. So we're absolutely delighted to have you here with us in the ICA tent. Now, every day on our live stream, Hilda, we're focusing on different themes, and uh, we are looking at farm safety uh, as well, and I know that's something that would be important important to ICA too? Absolutely. Well, I grew up in Dublin. Uh, I've lived in Wicklow for many years. Um, and I'm delighted to say my mother is from Leash. So lots of, of rural connections. So, so you've come home. <laughs> absolutely. And I'm absolutely delighted to be in, in Leash. But I didn't feel I could advise on farm safety. So I, I contacted some of my ICA members who have a few tips and with regard to farm safety. Mm -hmm. So if that's okay, I just... Absolutely. Yeah. I just didn't feel I was the person to be giving advice to farmers. Uh, but hopefully these would be, would be of use. So the first thing I was told was that tidiness is next to uh, is godliness with regards to a poorly maintained farmyards and farm can lead to accidents. So keep your farm neat and, and tidy and well maintained. And keep pesticides and other toxic chemicals out of reach of children. Beware of overhead power lines and covered cables. And always wear a safety helmet when using a quad bike and avoid children getting on and drive slowly over rough ground. And I suppose be very careful where, where there are children or elderly people on your farm. But well, you know, that's some very worthwhile and, uh, advice from your members, uh, Hilda, and thank you for sharing that with no us. Problem. Obviously, something your members are very conscious of as well is the, the cost of living crisis that we're all experiencing here. Inflation is hitting everybody's pockets, and I'm sure your members are telling you that too. Absolutely. We're hearing that from, from our members, and many, many of our members are, are vulnerable or living alone or on, on uh, pensions, and we don't... Nobody should have to make the, the decision whether they want to heat their house or have food on the table. So it is a very serious time for, all, for everybody. And I, I do think it's going to be a hard winter. Yeah, absolutely. And hopefully the, the budget will give us some respite uh, in, in the coming days yes, ahead. And absolutely. The government will, will be conscious of that. Uh, Hilda, I suppose finally it's, it's something that's very, very competitive. And uh, I know a lot of the women in here and the ICA members across the country, they're very proficient at baking. But the, the best of the best are here in Rathaniska because the brown bread making competition is on again. This is a hotly contested competition. It is indeed. And ICA is very very pleased to be part of this uh, big, big com competition sponsored by Aldi and in partnership with the ploughing and with ICA. And we are delighted. I want to wish all the finalists, the four finalists who will be baking again at 10 o'clock. The results will be in at two. And uh, we're delighted in ICA that we have one lady in the, in the final this year, Maeve Lully from County Meath and we wish all the finalists the best of luck but a special shout out to, to Maeve. We're very, very proud and delighted that we have somebody in the brown bread. There are fabulous prizes and it's a great competition and we are delighted to be part of that. Well, Hilda Roach, ICA President, thank you so much for joining us. Best of luck to everybody in the brown bread making competition that's happening later on and we'll go back to the Agriland Pavilion now.